Hey guys, Shaoling here. Welcome back to the Overwatch Report. I know it's been a while since I brought you guys an Overwatch Report video, but today I'm super excited to let you know that the Overwatch Closed Beta will be resuming next week. For those of us in Europe and the Americas region, the Overwatch Beta will start on Tuesday the 9th of February. And for those of you in the Asia region, you'll have to wait one extra week until the 16th of February. Along with the new Closed Beta comes an all new progression system, Unfortunately, there's not much info about that at the moment. We'll just have to wait and see. There are also two new maps as well as a new game mode and several hero balance updates, along with some private game updates, including full AI in private matches. Now, I don't have any more details with regard to the progression system, the new maps or the new mode, but if any information surfaces before the beta starts, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Blizzard have also said that there will be more details upcoming and that all previous players who have already been invited to the previous closed beta will have access to this one as well. And also that they will be sending out more invites for this beta. If you don't know what Overwatch is, you can check out this video over here. And if you haven't already signed up for the beta, I'll put a link in the description below where you can do so. Otherwise, if you have any comments, you can leave them in the section below. I've been Charling. Until next time. So the first thing I'm going to say is that the game won't contain any single player campaign. Blizzard have said that it's going to be a multiplayer only game and they wanted to focus on team play rather than individual kills and they wanted to focus on heroes rather than squads. Those of you who don't know what's actually going to be in it as well as the expected release date of the game. So what exactly is included in the Origins edition of Overwatch? So the first thing included in the package